image <laughs> it has this S shape and what you want to try to do is to create this into a, a shape with a path. You could try to outline the path <clears throat> is one way to do it and the other way is just to try to find the center of this of the path. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. You can see I have these fill down here. I'm just gonna turn it off so it's just the path and I'm trying to go right in the middle of this graphic that she has. So I'm kind of trying to use the minimal amount of points as I can to come down this direction. Just using the space bar to move it up a bit. Kind of dragging the handles, that's the anchor point. Just kind of building that up. And I'm going to come right down to this end point right here. And just click off the off the path right on the side. So now this is the this is the selection of it. <clears throat> I could have tried it on the outside of it. That's one way to do it. I'll, I'll try to demonstrate both. But the width tool allows me to grab this section and extend it out so it's almost that piece. The only part I don't care for is this end part. So I'm going to retrace it. Take the pen tool as you see. This is the still grabs the handle there so you can see it's curved and come all the way down to here so I might just take the other selection up here and bend that up like that so it's trying to look for the section that's in between to let go of this path just hold the command and click and now I have just this selection and now I can take the width tool and remember is you that's overdoing it but just so you can see it and if you hold the option key, it'll go just the distance on the side of the path that you grab. It's on the other side. And so now I'm just going to do just a little bit right in the middle as it tapers from either side. Okay? And I can always go back and drag this either with the direct selection tool or some other part. This section here, I'm just going to click and create corner point. I'll zoom in so you can see it. And I'm just going right to the edge, just dragging the handles to make that curve. Clicking on it because you can see it's a curve point. Once I click on it, it sets it as a corner point. Make sure I click on it. <laughs> it's back up there. And then come back up to here. So now this is going to allow me to finish off that curve. So this is the this is this shape. <clears throat> now, depending on how I want these endpoints or caps to change, I can take a look at the stroke, and here's where the corner is going to round this off if I want to make that a little bit rounder. And you can see you can modify it that way. Flipping the colors right here, if you click on here or use the keystroke, and the keystroke shows up when you let the mouse hover over the tool, and that'll give you that piece if you don't want to have the uh, selection, but I can keep it there and just fill it black, and now I can put the end cap on there for the round if you want it round. Okay. The other part is coming up on these end pieces right here, so I'm going to take the pen tool and do the same part. I'm just going to click a path and take off the fill. Come up here and do the same. Just kind of intersect it here and taper it off this way. And now I have this selection. And I'll just set it up here, a copy of it, just so you can see it. Here's the width tool. And when I get to the end, you can see that it has this uh, end piece that will let you grab that last point right on the bottom there to make it taper. So. It's hard to see it with the uh, black on the black, so I just kind of give this a color so you can see that a little bit. Here's the width tool. I'm extending that piece so it tapers this section off, and you can see this selection up here. And this is something that you can modify uh, through this section. So here's the width tool. Now if I just hold the option, it'll just let me put it right up at the top there. 
So it's kind of like fine-tuning it right onto that edge there. So that gives you that selection. And this part you can also extend depending on how close you want it to be extended out of the piece, out of the point. Okay? And then do the same to this one. So here's the here's the tool. Here's the selection of it. And it tapers it off that side. So those are a couple ways to, to put this together. These are all uh, paths. I'll take this one out. <clears throat> this is a path. I'll give this a color so you can see the uh, path inside of it still. Okay, so when the line goes over, you can still see the path. And same with this one. So when the line goes over, you can see the path. So to make these all shapes, I'm just going to select these two and also the blue one at the top. And so those move move away just so you can see they're selected. And then just go to Object Path and outline the, the stroke. And what it does, it makes it into a shape. And I'm just going to take the Pathfinder and make it into one solid piece. So now it's become that selection. And I can do the same <coughs> with these two items, just connecting them together. But when you connect them, just be aware that you lose the outside edge. So what I can do is click on this shape and do the same thing, object path, and outline the stroke. So now when I bring these two together, it'll make it one, one shape. Okay. So that's the easiest, easiest way to make that. The other option is to try to outline the whole thing, but that's using just the line with the width tool to make this this particular particular piece. So let's see if it'll change it into that color. <clears throat>